There is a lot of stuff to still do on the white Impreza. Safety stuff, brakes, tires, you name it. But first, more importantly, I have two sets of wheels that I'm going to fit on the car today because that's how I roll. I want to put wheels on the car instead of the other stuff. Before that, let's go find some cheap labor for the garage. Can you take it off? Keep going. Good job all the way. Good work. Good job. Oh, it's off. Where's the chrome one? Which one are we going to put on? Oh, it's over here on the mat. There you go. Where's it go? Put it right there. You want me to get it started for you? Yeah. Good job. Doesn't it look better already? Oh, you got the tool? Okay, we'll do that next. Last one. Get it off there. Keep going. Oh, doesn't that look better? Way better. These are not the correct wheels for the vehicle. These are 2000 and 2001 Impreza 2.5 RS6 spokes with brand new tires. They're Century Touring tires, 205, 55, 16. I want to put the wheels that are supposed to be on this vehicle, which are specific only to the 1999. 2.5 RS. I did find some center hubcaps, which I'm going to keep those, but these need to go. I need to sell these because I have too many wheels as it is. Before we can get to the nice sticky ones on the left, we're going to throw on those wheels and tires on the right. These are the right wheels for the car. 1999 five spoke 2.5 RS and 98. These came in gold and 99. They came in silver. So these ones are a little beat up the lip as most wheels that are 20 plus years old is a little curb checked center cap is a little faded. So these would definitely have to be refurbished, but what's unfortunate is, you know, these range in price from, I don't know, a couple hundred up to maybe $500 for a set with tires, depending on condition if you can find them. And then that's probably about how much it's gonna cost to recondition them. So to get them broken down, repainted, the lips all fixed and straightened out, I'm thinking at least 100, 150 per wheel. I do prefer these six spokes, actually the looks of them over the five spoke, but I need the room in the garage. So I gotta sell them off. And the five spokes are what the car is supposed to come with. These are Enki RC T4 wheels. No longer available, discontinued. Designed for competition use only. Super hard to find. I bought them long ago. Far before I even had the white Impreza, I bought these wheels because I love them so much. By far, in my opinion, the best wheel, hands down, over anything that you can put on a Subaru. I just love them. These are 17 by eights, 48 offset. Five on 100, so limits what kind of Subarus you can put them on, but they're gonna be perfect on the white RS. Tires are Falcon and Zenus RT660s, 225, 45, 17. They're a sticky tire, way more sticky than the white Impreza needs, but I wanted to give them a shot. I have the other Falcon and Zenus on the black RS with the TE37s, but I wanted to try it up, try to mix it up a little bit. First of all, these things have been sitting for a long time. I think they were in somebody's storage unit. They were ridden hard and put away without getting washed. I mean, they're filthy. Structurally, they're sound, which is great. It's very rare to find a wheel that's not curb checked and the lips aren't all chewed up. These, in that case, are straight. They're perfect, they're ready to go, but they definitely do need some elbow grease. So we gotta get them outside, we gotta start scrubbing. It's gonna take some work, but we're getting them back to almost new finish without breaking them down and having to get them powder coated or painted.
So this is about as good as we're gonna get it with just scrubbing with the soap and the Iron X and the wheel cleaner and elbow grease. And as you can see, for most people, this will be pretty much acceptable. You know, a lot of people would, would run this wheel. The barrel is actually quite clean. There is some staining though, so I'm gonna bring the camera in a little bit closer so you can see. Um, and it's not really up to my standards. On the spokes, you can see all this like rust color brake dust staining um, that's not going to come off i've already tried to scrub it several times with the wheel cleaner and the iron x clay bar so at this point you can even see a little bit of little, little crusties in uh, between the spokes as well so we're going to have to um, use a little bit of polish and, and and see if we can cut through that staining some of the stuff i have laying around the garage that i'm going to use um, is mcguire's cleaner wax this is just something budget friendly and cheap you can get over the counter at any part store a um, little higher end stuff we have some Menzerna stuff which I really like I've used this a lot on um, paint correction this heavy cut compound is going to be the more aggressive and then this is going to be like the last maybe five percent of the finish if you really want to make like a, a super glass swirl free 100 percent is going to be this Look how clean this is. I mean, it is perfectly white. Up here, not so much. Still stained. This is great results. And I'm just using the Meguiar's stuff because it's cheap and I have a lot of spokes to do. Try this one up here. What a difference. Look at this before and after. And this is just the Meguiar's paint cleaner. Taking the stain right off. Now, we have to look at the back because as you can see we have tons of that same those are like I don't know they look like water lines but I we, we decontaminated and clayed it quite a few times and the back of the spokes are pretty bad too I'm gonna just hit that real quick and see what kind of a result we get You can see the staining is a lot less and these are just the barrel of the wheel so you're not going to see much from the front of the car but OCD tells me to clean it so this section here is actually quite a bit cleaner than the rest of the wheel now I'm just gonna do the rest I'm gonna try the back of one of the spokes real quick and see how that turns out that spoke looks amazing compared to the other ones but left side is still nasty spokes, right side has been cleaned, still have to do the entire barrel. But I'm really happy with how these are coming out. And while you're doing this, if you listen really, really carefully, you can actually hear the wheel thanking you. That didn't go exactly as planned. I don't know if you saw, but the it wasn't really rotating too well because um, those machines are designed if they're hitting an edge to stop. So I have a black mark on the, um, the backing plate and it wasn't spinning, but it was vibrating enough to clean it. But if you look close enough, it looks like it's actually taking off some of the paint. So on the face, we're okay on the front of the spokes, but now that I am working on the back of the wheel. Maybe it's not clear coated, but there is a little bit of white transfer paint on my cutting pad, which I was not getting on the face of the wheel. So my guess is the front of the wheel is probably clear coated. Um, and the back of the wheel doesn't look like it. We wanna start with the least aggressive method possible, which that was not.
This has been a long process. Getting these wheels cleaned up and restored to almost original has been a task. I probably have three or four hours into each wheel, and that's exhausting. But now, the satisfying part. We get to put the stickers on Enki Sport. Two stickers per wheel, so eight stickers. Can't mess that up, can I? Probably, might be, maybe a little crooked, but that's okay. I'm gonna clean the surface really well first, and I'm gonna put the stickers on before I seal it. I wanna put some kind of a sealant on here, maybe like a wax or a paint sealant. Not a ceramic coat because I'm too cheap for that and I don't have any. So, sticker, then sealant. If you put sealant on, then a sticker, sticker won't stick to sealant. Stickers are on. That one's upside down. But that one looks okay. I need some center caps. I spent a lot of time looking for hub-centric rings for the car with no success until, lo and behold, Enki actually makes them still. So this is the perfect bore for my car. The outer bore is the perfect bore for the wheel. But these things are a trick. Can you see how they're kind of staggered? So what you do, there is a giant circlip here it goes in the wheel and then there is actually a little lip machined on the inside of the wheel that this circlip goes into and once you pop them in and they're installed the rings actually can't come out it's actually really trick I like this because I usually lose these a couple times after changing a set of wheels and tires but these are actually designed and made for this wheel. Believe that, huh? But the most important question of the video remains. Do we run white or gold ones? The white ones have brand new tires. Gold ones have old tires. I bought these ones before I had the gold ones. So I put the brand new tires on here. The gold ones have center caps. To run the gold ones, I'm gonna have to spend $100 to get tires from the white wheels onto the gold wheels. I guess it's gonna be white. Before all the wheels can be put on the car, we have to install these brand new OEM front fender guard liner things. The car has them on them, but they're all ripped apart. They're all cracked, broken, busted, and flopping around. So, went to Subaru, picked up some new ones. Just gotta slap them on. This lip on the front here is all wrong, and it needs to come off. Yes, I know. It is JDM STI in Japan or WRX, whatever. But this one is a knockoff. It's fake, it doesn't fit well. You see how this line doesn't line up right? Whoever installed it just threw it on and shoved a screw in. So now you can't readjust it. And if you look underneath, it's definitely not OEM. So it's gotta go. You may see that I test fit the JDM grill with the green eye badge. And I'm kind of really, really liking it. Not USDM though. So I might have to come off for now. Back in the interior, I traded the fake STI front lip for an extended armrest. Working clip for the top part and an unbroken, unavailable working clip for the bottom part. I just think it's neat. Last two missing pieces of the puzzle. Enki valve stem caps and Enki center caps. Probably the most satisfying part of the whole thing. Magnifico.